Yeah, first I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to you. How about Shimmy of Shai? Double honor to the Apostle Elves, great millstone that rule well. Salutations to the Archim T Swan Syrian truth. Blessings to the elect and the one third of Israelites scattered worldwide. Predestined to be saved. Now I'm coming with a quick lesson. And the lesson is gonna be entitled Your Spiritual Bank Account. Alright? Your spiritual bank account. Because you know like everyone's got you know a bank account and when you wanna save up for something, I don't know, like a holiday or whatever. You might be working and you get your money and then you take some money from your wages and then you put it in the bank. And, you know, you might do it every month or every f three months or six months and it accumulates. <clears throat> and then you might have enough to go on that holiday or actually buy a house or whatever. All right. And by the way, we're not in the time for going on holidays, man, and buying, you know, and buying houses and all that stuff. Okay, there's no point investing in a kingdom that is going to fall. <laughs> it don't make sense, you know. And, and all the airports, if you here in England, all the airports have been gridlocked because of, you know, um, um, the shortage of staff. There's been queues around the block. People have missed their flights. And, you know, you're looking at it on TV, but that's a big thing because uh, a family might have saved up for that holiday, five, six thousand pounds. You know, and then you go to the airport and you can't go or the queue so long you miss your flights. They're canceling it. You know, as I said, this collapse is happening right now. This place is done, man. All right. So we have to invest in our spiritual bank account. OK. All right. So this is Matthew. Uh, uh, let's see. Now, let me start with this one. Matthew 6 verse 31. Therefore, take no thought, saying, What shall ye eat? What shall ye drink? Um, wherewithal shall, ye, shall we be clothed? All right. Verse 32. For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. Gentiles are heathens, non-Israelites. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. So he knows our needs already. All right. So he's telling us not to be like the Gentiles, man. And our people, you mirror them, especially, uh, uh, you know, these Edomites, man. All right. All right. But uh, this is verse 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. All right. So that's our priority is to seek the kingdom of God, man. Okay? You know? We have to seek this first, man. You know? Even today, I got a bit distracted. You know, as a pro, there was a chat chat show, a politics show. And they were talking about, you know, this uh, wicked policy to take asylum seekers and take them to Rwanda. And it was just pissing me off, man. And I kind of got caught up in it and it kind of distracted me from doing this video. So, you know, you know, I apologize to the Lord for that. And, and now I'm doing it, you know. So we have to seek the kingdom of God first, man. All right. Meaning to do this work, to study, etc., etc. All right. Matthew 6 verse 19. Uh, lay, uh, uh, lay not up yourselves treasures upon earth. Where moth and rust do of corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. Yeah, because you can buy a, a, you know, a Ferrari or this, that, and the other. Like these footballers, man, uh, or in America you call them soccer players. They they've been in the last year or two years. Loads of these Premier League footballers have been um, been targeted by criminals, man, breaking into their houses, you know. And they've got advanced um, security systems breaking in there, um, stealing stuff, carjacking them, you know. See, those those things that you want to attain on the earthly, um, you know, on, a, on the earthly plane, they can be taken away and they can rust and moth, you know. But lay up yourselves treasures in heaven 
where, where neither moth nor rust doeth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. All right, so you have to invest your time, all right, in this truth. All right, all right, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Okay. And that reminds me of that program, uh, that series, The Wire, where it's so you know Baltimore, Maryland, and and um, you know uh, um, what's his name, Barksdale, uh, Stringer Bell, and all this stuff. Their their heart was in being uh, uh, um, you know street guys and making money and my reputation, this and that. And I remember I was watching one episode where Barksdale got actually arrested. You know, for the, and he just came out of prison, man. And when he got arrested, he was saying to his friend, he goes, damn, Stringer was right. I, I should have just came out of prison and got out of the game and just invested and be legit. But he, he had pride because he had a, a rival, uh, uh, a, you know, a rival guy. What's his name? Marlo, uh, Marlo Stansfield taking his corners and this, that. And... You guys that are in these gangs and you're doing that and you're pimping, you know, your own people, selling drugs and all that stuff. Your heart is in wickedness, man. All right. We don't want to hear about your excuses. Well, I haven't got, you know, my dad went around and there's nothing here, this, that and the other. All right. Fair enough. You're in those conditions and the Lord put us in that condition for a reason. But the harm that you're doing to your own people, you know. You're using young little kids, even 12 year old, to sell drugs and things like that. You're a disgrace, man. You know? Because your heart is full of wickedness and pride. Okay? So, our spiritual bank account, but when you put money in and you, you, you uh, save up, but where, if you invest time in this truth, this is eternal life. This, this uh, um, spiritual bank account. Uh, your reward is that your soul will be saved. All right. Those actors and entertainers, they've sold their soul. You know, that's why they're all coked up on, on drugs. You know, they a, a lot of them, they can't function without that. Because when you uh, look in the mirror and realize what you've done for a few dollars, you sold out for a little season, man. OK. Uh, Hebrews chapter 13, verse 14. For here, we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. And that's right, man. We've got nothing here, man. There's no point laying down roots here, man. All right? There's no point. All right? Uh, uh, Hebrews 13, 15. By him, therefore, let us offer sacrifice of prayers to Yahweh continually. That is the fruit of our lips giving thanks to his name so you got to thank the most high Yahweh and his son Yahushai on a daily basis man and this is more credit in your what in your spiritual bank account all right the lord likes all this all right you see that the video i'm doing now the lord does this <clears throat> you know so you're getting more credit in your spiritual bank account so when all hell breaks loose the Lord is going to send uh, uh, send angels to protect us, man, and to deliver us after he tries us, you know. These other Israelites, they're just going to crumble, man. All right, they're going to, you know. Okay. Uh, this is First Timothy uh, 6 and 3. If any man teach otherwise and consent not to wholesome words, even the words of our Lord, uh, Mashiach Yehoshai, and to the doctrine which is according to godliness. Um, he is proud, knowing nothing, uh, but doting about questions and strifes of words, uh, whereof cometh envy, strife, railings, evil, evil submissions. And that's, that's not to, that's how not to be. Uh, verse 5. Perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds and destitute of the truth, supposing that gain is godliness. From such withdraw thyselves. And 
the one problem about our people is they look and they think, well, well what is this going to do for me now? You know, they want things now, now, now. All right. First uh, Timothy six, verse six. But but godliness with contentment is great gain. So be content with what you have, especially in this time, man, because what you have, the Lord is going to take it away from many of us to test us, man. Food, water, your job, you know. We're coming into some really trying times, you know. Over here in, in, in the UK, uh, electricity bills and energy bills is going up, has gone up by 54%. 54%. So if you are paying every three months £250 for your gas and electric, now it will be five over £500, you know. Yeah, man. So you're going to need the Lord's favor. And um, uh, not to get up too much on the topic, but I had a, a electricity bill and it came through and I was like, hang on. This don't make sense. The last quarter, you know, it was like 200 and uh, uh, yeah, 200 something pounds. And then the last bill they sent, it was more than that it was much more than that it was like um oh, i can't remember now it was uh it, i think it was like 80 pounds more but the new increases started from april you know and this bill was for january february now this yeah it was from end of january it was february march and april so from april the first to april the 28th you telling me I've got to pay eighty pounds more just for one month? And then when I rang up and I queried it, and then they asked me, "Can you get a meter reading?" I gave them the meter reading. The woman typed it in, and then she goes, "Oh, by the way, now you're in credit." And I think I owed one hundred eighty-five pounds, whatever. When I gave it the number to her, the meter reading, she goes, "Oh, now you're in credit by one hundred and seven pounds." And I was stunned, man. And then she said, oh, you should get a smart meter, this, that, and the other. I'm going to look into it. But that's that's a beautiful example of of basically, uh, you, you know, the bill came. It looked horrendous. It didn't make sense, you know. And it immediately it got me angry, you know. But I always pray on these things. And then when I called... And then she did that. Now I'm in credit. And I'm not going to lie to you. Since I've moved to this property, I've never been in credit with my electricity. Now I'm in credit. That's all praise to you. How about Shimmy Shai, man? All right. Uh, Proverbs 11 verse 4. Riches profited not in the day of wrath. Yeah, so all this, I've got to make money, man. I've got to make money, yo. i got bills to pay, yo. But righteousness delivereth from death. So invest your time in righteousness, man. All right? You can do all the schemes in the world. If the Lord doesn't permit it, it's not going to work. You know, any venture where you have not... Cons and and it, was, it was someone on the comment board said that in one of my videos. They put a comment. Um, someone said, it was a, a video about Yahusha coming back. And someone put, no one's coming back to save us. It's, back, it's up to us. Someone replied to him saying, any move you make without God's consent is doomed for failure. And that was a beautiful comment, and it's true. Okay? This is Proverbs 22 and 4. By humility and the fear of the Lord are riches and honor and life. All right? So we have to fear the Lord, man. All right? We have to fear the Lord. And if you fear him, you will start to obey him. All right, and that will put more credit into what? Your spiritual bank account. All right, all right let's go. Uh, we got that one already. And it's just a short video. I'm gonna do another one because there's so many more points that I wanna actually, you know, go on to. You know, but this is just practical things that you can do. This is Proverbs 19, verse 17. He that hath pity upon the poor lendeth unto the Lord. And that 
which he have given, he will pay him again. So if you pity the poor, and we're talking about the poor is our people, man. All right. There are other scriptures, and that's why I'm going to do another part. There's, there's scriptures about uh, uh, don't help an ungodly man. You know, if you know a guy is a, a, a damn drug addict, you know, snorting coke and stuff. And he wants money from you. You know, he's just going to use it to snort coke. Don't give him that uh, uh, money, you know. But when you want to be charitable, try and do it with to your own people, man. All these other races do that except us, man. That shows you our, um, the Lord has scrambled our membranes, you know. Okay. But when you pity, have pity on the poor, you know. It, it's, it's almost like you're doing the Lord, the Lord's work for him in a way you're 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 the lord provides but he's using you as a vessel to provide for that person um just yesterday um this food bank that i went to they gave at the end they had a lot more food left you know and 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 they gave me like four boxes full of curry or whatever and i do did, i didn't want to just throw it away uh and i wanted really to give it to a jake an Israelite, you know, who may be homeless, whatever. But I saw this woman, and she was an Edomite woman. And I just said to her, I said to her, um, I've got some food, do you want it? And she went, she went, what is it? I said, yeah, it's just some curry. I was like, yeah, I went to the car, got it. And I gave it to her. I went to a restaurant, takeaway restaurant, asked them for a disposable spoon. So she can have it, you know. And, and, and I would have preferred to give it to an Israelite. But I never saw any around. But I just didn't want to waste it. Do you get what I'm saying? So primarily, I'm not being hypocritical. Primarily, I would have given it to a Jake, an Israelite. But it wasn't when it went around. But, you know, that's a good meal for that woman. You know, for tonight, tomorrow. You get what I'm saying? You know, and we need to think like that more in these times. Because it does tell you Isaiah 13, 14. Like when this... When this uh, Jacob's trouble happens, every man's going to turn to his own people. And I remember when <clears throat> they had that civil war in America, you know, when they said, oh, our, our, our people are free and they're not slaves, you know, Emancipation Proclamation. Um, there was a film about it and all these Jakes that were slaves, they were just allowed to let go. And literally they had to stick together. And they had to make camps and they had to have pots and they were making food for their own people and stuff. Men were there um, trying to protect them, you know, because, you know, these um, Edomites were angry and stuff like that. It, it came down to the wire where we had to help ourselves, you know, and that's the mentality you have to have. But as I said, I'm going to do another part as well, because uh, it's good to be charitable and Israelites are very charitable, but. Um, we need to be charitable to our people first. I mean, charity should start at home, and charity does cover a multitude of sins. And that's why I said if, if it was an Israelite around, I would have preferred to give them the food, you know? Okay? Uh, last scripture, and we're going to close. 2 Corinthians 9 and 7. Every man, according as he... Uh, as he... As, every man, according as he purpose in his heart... So let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. Yeah, so it's especially, especially, that's why I'm going to do another part, because there's other things where it tells you to help, um, um, to, to help godly men and not sinners, you know, not, not men that is, is uh, 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 wicked, because if you help, a evil, wicked piece of crap. Oh, here's some money, whatever. You know, they're going to do wicked things with it, man. Okay? You know? So I'm going to do another part. But when we're supposed to do this with a cheerful um, um, heart. You know? I love... Um, the one thing I, I um, we brothers in the camp do, we look after each other very well. And it's just an instinct. And when you're in this truth... The Lord gives you that instinct, you know, because we're in this truth and we are prophets of Yahweh Shim Yashai, but we're struggling like everyone else. 
So sometimes I'm very um, mindful that, you know, um, when I do get money, sometimes I ask a brother, you know what, are you okay for money? This, that, and the other. And um, there's times where I haven't been okay for money. And um, I'll, I'll mention it to, you know, to a brother and he'll just send me some money straight away. You know, because when you look after the Lord's ministry, that is uh, uh, more credit in your what? In your spiritual bank account. All right. I'm going to leave it at that, man. All right. But I will do another part and go in depth, man. So we'll give all praise to you. How about Shimmy Shai? Double honors to Apostle El's great millstone of the well. Salutations to the Archim Teach Word in Syrian Truth. And blessings to the elect and the one third of Israelites predestined to be saved. This is uh, uh, um, who we're working for, man. We're working for that rest. We're working for the kingdom, you know. So these um, images that you see here, all right, this is going to become a reality, man. You know, and that's why we need more deeds, more studying, more being diligent. You know, etc. In our spiritual bank account. Shalom.